Both the solvent and water in the membrane mixture dissolve the solid particles, which results in a plastic state of the membrane, so that it can be easily applied. After the liquid membrane is applied to the surface, the water or solvent will evaporate, leaving the solid membrane layer behind. Depending on the percentage of solvent or water with respect to the solid parts, the wet and dry film thickness could vary due to solvent or water evaporation. For example, here, the membrane on the left, with fewer solid particles, will have a lower dry film thickness compared to the membrane on the right side, which has a higher content of solid particles, assuming the wet film thickness is the same for both of them. Here it's important to note that all liquid membranes cannot be laid in thick coats, as they could be affected by environmental conditions like moisture, which results in membrane failure, like gassing off, or membrane pinholes. Rather than that, we generally need to apply multiple layers or coats to achieve a higher thickness for a liquid membrane, complying with timing requirements between each coat to ensure adhesion. See you in the next video. Teletraining makes the most practical content for the quality construction industry.